Welcome to lesson six. Now we're going to actually step things up a notch here. In lesson six, we're going to actually learn two keys and moving forward, now that you've got the hang of the entire process, you're going to learn two keys per lesson. So today you're going to learn the G key and the H key. And the reason you're going to learn them is uh, both of those is because they're both index finger uh, keys. So I sort of think of them as being together. And that's pretty much it. So let's get the ball rolling. Again, like I always say, make sure your fingers are on the correct spots. So your index fingers, your left one should be on the F key. And you'll know that by the groove. Same with the J key for your right index finger. And then the rest of your fingers should be just side by side. Uh, and your thumbs, of course, should be on the space bar. And that's about it. So let's just hit the G key with our index finger. Don't worry about spaces. Don't worry about uppercase. Uh, it's all going to be lowercase. So in de left index finger, don't even look down. This is going to be the fun part. I want you to move your right index finger just one key over without even looking and tap G. Did it work? Hopefully it worked. If it didn't, you can look down this one time and see where your finger is going because this is how we improve muscle memory. So I'm going to backspace here, which I use my pinky for, but we'll get to that down the road. So let's just hit the G key eight times. Great. Now let's uh, create uh, two spaces. So press the return key with your right pinky finger. And now I want you to hit the H key. So that's your right index finger. Uh, eight times and again just like just like the G key you have to move your right index finger one key this time to the left so just, just try not to even look at it if, if you if your index finger feels the groove on the J you know the next button over the next key is H so just hit that eight times and there we go now let's do GH, GH, GH. Let's do that about four or five times. So press the return key using your pinky finger. Try not to look. Start developing the muscle memory of where the return or enter key is. So just hit that twice. And now let's go GH. Let's do that, I don't know, eight times. GH, GH, GH. There we go. That's really all there is to it. So let's do some capitalization and some lowercase because that'll also get you, you know, still working on the space bar and all that jazz. So I'm just going to press the return key twice. So uppercase G, lowercase G. And to remind you again, you're using your pinky fingers whenever you're using the shift. So if anything on this side of the keyboard needs to be capitalized, just one, one letter, you would use the shift key on the right side. And again, if anything and if anything on the right side needs to be uppercase, you use the shift on the left side. Um, that way you're not trying to like muddle with your with all your fingers trying to shift and capitalize here. Just doesn't work. This is the most fast and efficient way of doing things. Let's do another capital G. So hold down shift with your right pinky and just tap G. Let go with your right pinky and tap G again and you've got a lowercase. Now let's do that two more times. Space, capital G, lowercase g, space, capital G, lowercase g. One more time. Space, capital G, lowercase g. Now press return twice. And I want you to now hold down shift with the left pinky finger. And this is the very first time you do it, you can check to see where your finger lands. But in the future, you have to start trusting. And you'll, you'll be actually pretty surprised at how well you do. So holding down the shift and tapping H with my right in uh, my right index finger and then letting go of shift, tapping H again. Now it's lowercase space and you can space with whatever thumb thumbs in spacing is a little bit subjective. Uh, so left pinky on shift, hold it down, tap H with your right index finger, let go of shift, tap H again, space capital H lower H space capital H lower H space capital H lower H now you could go I'm gonna press return twice you could go pinky finger to caps lock H caps lock off H you could do that 
And a lot of people at this stage want to do that. There's so many reasons why you don't want to do that. Um, but mainly because caps lock, I don't know why, but it doesn't really matter the keyboard, it can get sticky. So it can really ruin your typing process. So shift protects you from capitalizing things you don't want to capitalize. And that's pretty much it. So I'm going to actually backspace that. So now let's have some fun with some words. You know all the other letters that I'm about to introduce. So let's take our time. First thing out, first word I want you to spell is gas, G-A-S. So that would be left index finger, left pinky finger, uh, left ring finger. So let's practice that a few times. Space, G. A S. Try not to look at your keyboard. Space G A S. And let's actually speed this up a bit. Space G A S. Space G A S. And if you take a look at how my how my hands work, now I mean this is this could be the wrong way to do it if there is such a thing. Um, but I actually kind of have a rhythm with my typing. So for example, G, you see how my hand moves a little bit to the right. And for AS, I actually put a little bit more emphasis on tilting to the left. AS. And that just sort of, you know, through time when you're typing a ton of words, that really speeds things up a bit. So space, GAS. Now let's go has. So let's do a new line. And it's just H. So it's the right index finger. And then it's the left pinky finger and left ring finger. So. H-A-S, 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 oh, and I need to do a space, H-A-S, H-A-S, H-A-S. And you got it. So let's do some other words here. Let's do fad, fad. So that's left index, left pinky, middle, left middle finger, space. So let's practice that. Don't even look at the keyboard. F A D space F A D space F A D space D space F A D space F A D space. Now let's press return twice. Let's do dad, which is even easier. This is also pretty much our recap our recap as well. And let's do some sh which is just S and two to three H's, depends who you talk to. S, H, H, S, H, H. And that's it. Make sure to like, subscribe, and follow, because if YouTube gives me money, I can make more of these videos. Have a great day.